This is Keith Cott O'Reilly with the Atlanta Historical Fencing Academy. Uh, used to be Atlanta Fry Factor, but we have our new place, as you can probably see behind me. You'll see a lot more of it as we do stuff. Um, and we changed our name just because it sort of reflects better what we're doing these days. Uh, we're not just Fry Factor, we're not just uh, Meyer anymore. Uh, we do some rapier, some sword and buckler, etc., etc. Um, that sort of comes down to um, what we're doing with this. We wanted to do some new stuff. And one of the things I see pretty often is people asking, how do I start? How do I do something new? How do I get into doing HEMA? So I decided to put myself out of my comfort zone a little bit and try to show ways of interpreting stuff you're not used to. Now, obviously, I will have experience and I have some biases, right? I do longsword a lot, I do Dussac, Rapier, um, so I'm not exactly starting from ground floor, but hopefully it will help you get an idea of how to start from the ground floor. Um, what we're going to do is work from this book. Um, by the way, to all my Italian friends and uh, people who speak Italian, my Italian is worse than my German and my German is non-existent. So if I destroy your beautiful language, please forgive me, okay? Um, so we're using this book. This book here is uh, Trattato Tiroco Pratico della Scorma de Bastone, um, originally written by Giuseppe Serdi and translated by Gianluca, Gianluca sorry, Zanini. Um, it's a wonderful translation, it's a wonderful book, and it is on the bastone, which is an Italian um, style of stick fighting. Um, sort of in between a single hand stick and a quarter staff, right? It's a two handed um, staff. Um, the book itself is pretty packed with information. Um, it's written in 1854, like I said, by uh, Giuseppe Seri, who's a master of uh, fencing. Um, I believe he did saber, uh, foil, along with stick fighting. And uh, he views the, the bastone uh, sort of in three ways. It's a weapon of sport, so getting in shape, um, learning how to fence. He, he views it as a good thing to do for, for youths, um, as it's a little safer than f beginning uh, fencing with steel weapons, in, in his words. Um, it's also uh, a good way to um, be self-defense legal, shall we say. Uh, in the book, he does make comment that in 19th century Italy, a lot of carrying of weapons was frowned upon, really only soldiers could do this. Um, so having a stick was a good thing to do, and if you knew how to use it properly, you could you know, defend yourself. And we actually see that at the end of the book. Um, but really, it's about fencing. It's really a fencing treatise that teaches you how to fence with the bastone. It's not so much a self-defense treatise. Um, the bastone itself, I don't have one. What I have is a wooden uh, dowel that I got from Home Depot. Um, this is temporary. I'm getting some proper trainers made for me by a, a friend's father, who is a, a good one turner. Um, normally, you see these are about 137 to about 153 centimeters long. So uh, I think that's about 58 inches, about 60 inches long. Um, and then uh, down where you'd be grabbing it, it'd be about three centimeters, about 1.2 inches in width, all the way down to the point being about two centimeters, which is just under an inch, about 0.8 of an inch. Um, and then it was made out of uh, various different woods. So uh, I believe uh, started off with chestnut on the lighter end, then going to hazel, beech, oak, and uh, caracole, I believe, was the last one that was said as a normal wood, um, which is a very dense wood. Um, I'm trying to get it made out of hazel or oak, um, so they're not too dense. Um, obviously, Sparring with these would not be a good idea. Sparring with oak hurts. So if we ever get to sparring, it'll probably be with rattan. Um, cut down to the, the proper length. Obviously, rattan has its own issues, but it's safer to fence with. Um, 
But overall, the point of this is to show you how I would interpret stuff, um, my foibles in um, figuring stuff out. I'm pretty sure by the time I end this series, I'll go back to video one and go, oh, that sucked. I need to improve everything. That's just how it is. And that's good, right? Being willing to revise your interpretations shows that your learning is not ego driven. It's this is HEMA, right? This is rediscovering old arts. And we don't exactly know how to do it. This actually, I think, there's still some masters who do it in Italy. And I'm sure some of them may eventually see the stuff and go, oh my God, this sucks. If you're one of those, tell me. I'm happy to learn. Um, but hopefully it gets you in the ground floor. Also, a lot of people ask, hey, I wanted to start doing historical martial arts. How do I get started? What's a cheap way to do it? Stick fighting, cheap. Go to Home Depot or whatever your local equivalent to Home Depot or Lowe's may be and buy yourself one of these and go gently. They will splinter, but you can start with those, right? It's a good way to get started. Um, I will be throwing these up on YouTube for long form where I go through my uh, explanations of what I'm doing. Hope me try to keep around a five minute mark for every video so it's not too long. Um, this one's probably going to drag a little bit because I'm talking. Um, and then I'll also just throw the techniques themselves in smaller blocks, both on YouTube and on Instagram. Um, stealing uh, my good friend Oscar's idea that he did for Lingmaster's Messer, uh, which just finished. Uh, and I will link that video probably here. Um, and it's a great series where he went through every single play in Lingmaster, showing you all of his interpretations of them. I'm going to do the same thing for this as well. So it's going to just be the interpretations on Instagram, long form come here to YouTube, and you'll get a better idea of what we're doing. It's a pretty thick book. There's a lot of stuff in there. So it's going to take a minute, um, but hopefully inspires you to do your own stuff, be it with stick, be it with swords, whatever it may be. Um, if you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook, um, hit me up on Instagram or here on YouTube. And yeah, um, Let's do this, let's have fun.